go over a cross lapel grip uh, variation of Taitoshi. So as I come through, big out wide step so that we're shoulder to shoulder, and I'm gonna kick my middle foot across, okay? And then hands all day long. Normally I'm trying to get the near side lapel because it's the leading one. And if he's doing a good job of keeping me from there, whether he's blocking or he's really bent over, okay, I can come in and catch the cross lapel. Okay, so you would grab it normally, same way you do, okay? And I'll show you a different grip here in a second, okay? We're gonna grab there, we're gonna grab a low sleeve grip, okay? Most of your tires are, you need that, that hand space anyway, so you get a low grip, it's easier to get anyways. The next step is when I Back step, I want to be shoulder to shoulder or like slightly overlapping him. I don't want to be in here, okay? I don't want this to be right down the middle, okay? Especially if he's bent over and I try and do that, I run into his head and he blocks me out. So as I come through, big out wide step so that we're shoulder to shoulder and I'm going to kick my middle foot across, okay? And then hands all day long. bend you have in your knees, you can add a little extra boom to your hands by just kind of springing. Okay. Boom. Out wide and bend your, your knees so that I've got some spring. Kick out. Straighten the legs back up. You say about a 50-50 spread on each, each, yeah. each about 50% on each foot? I, I, I always do 50-50. Uh, you, Steve always used to say that's like a, a big man's uh, Taitoshi and I'm not very big but it works for me so um, you'll see some guys get a little bit like this or more classically like that and I can do it that way but it's just a lot easier to get out wide this way it's a little more efficient too when I'm coming across Boom, nice and wide kick through and you're under a center of gravity really and then just finish with the hands That's... And then the wider you get the easier it is to get under his, his belt line which is where his center of gravity is so you're lower just by the benefit of taking a wider outside step. If I get more narrow, I'm not up, you know, underneath, so I have to kick out a little bit more. That puts me more in line with the center. Okay, so it's a it's a a game of, of inches and in where you start and how you rotate over to the side and how your, your leg configuration is. So bear that in mind. If you find that your arm is getting jammed up a whole bunch over here, or it feels like you're kind of torquing your elbow too much when you're finishing, it's because you're, you're too close in the middle there. And on the lapel grip, you get jammed up real tight like that, you're not going anywhere. So just take a wider step out to the side. Okay, and now it's kind of like a right angle, and it's a real easy extension. through there like that, okay? Don't worry about punching, just get it out, okay? And Taiotoshi is considered a Tewaza or hand technique, so this, clearly, hands are very important in using this, making this work. Yep, it's right, right about where you get out to your extension, you cut them down in the angle. So don't come straight through and turn through them like that. That would be a hip throw, okay? Out, and then down. Okay, so now we're going to switch up the grip a little bit. And again, this doesn't matter if you go right or left, I just like doing it from the left. So I'll always flare with the backhand so that I get a good grip, but I'm going to come in thumb down now. Okay, so whereas before we were going thumb up, okay, and then extending out that way, now that I'm thumb down, okay, it's a lot easier to just kind of turn and extend. It's almost like throwing a punch. Whereas this is kind of like casting a, a fishing line, okay? So through here, thumb down, okay? And then I'm gonna catch on the inside of his arm. And again, this kind of allows me to create a nice little circle around his torso so that when I turn, he's turning with me, okay? So again, out wide, kick across. 
you can get a little more oomph into it because you can use more shoulder to come down and out. And again, I'm already on the inside of it, so my pull is stronger and it's supported by the other arm. It seemed like good oomph to make. Be, be careful of your, your It did seem, seem pretty good. Okay, so flare, grip, thumb down, and then just collapse this grip down to the inside of this sleeve. Okay, out wide, kick across, and down it goes. This is effective against a, a bent over opponent. Someone who is a really low posture or they're bent over, very defensive jiggle tie. This is very effective for that, catch, isn't it? Catch, catch. Okay, again, he's bent over. I don't have to worry about going underneath him because they're not trying to get in line with his head. Okay, if I was, boom, I continually run into a pickup. Okay? Instead, I'm just kind of stepping around him and then cutting across. So I catch there and that's going to control that elbow as, as well as this. And then you step out to the side. So even if he's like bent in half, there we go. Okay? I'm not jammed up by his head anymore. And you just have to have a nice wide-legged stance and over he goes. So, get a good grip on the, the far side, step out of the way of him, and then just extend him out where you were. So I was right here, okay? Right? I'm going to step out of the way, and then extend him out over where I was. So, legs in the way to triple. One more time. One, One more time. time. 